it is a great day to say peachy as always. And today, we're doing a lot of stuff, but first and foremost, why you clicked in, Mr. Beast, Beast Bars, Feastables, whatever these are. I have Emma here. That's who I just looked at. Hi! I actually bought $500 worth of Mr. Beast bars, landing us with, I think, how many, um, 18 bars? 18 bars and a bunch of boxes. Yeah, I have literally so many boxes. Yeah. Literally all of these boxes, and I think they each have like three in them. So it's quite a few. I have yet to try any of these. All I know is that there's a golden ticket and also money at stake. I haven't tried any of these. Zach tried one, and I told him, no, I'm waiting for the one. Oh, I just broke this one. We're trying to get the golden ticket to get like a chocolate factory or something. Also, there's little QR codes on the back, which you can scan to see if you win anything. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna pretty much just give them out to people at the office, because we're about to go to an office party mm -hmm. for Valentine's Day. It's February 17th, and I know you guys probably won't see it until the next Wednesday because I think I have a different vlog going up on Saturday. Oh, oh wait, I don't want to enter like this whole sweepstakes. I was gonna say, I'm doing it, so it's okay. I'm gonna win, baby. Come on. Let's see how easy this is. If this is gonna be something I want to commit a lot of time to. Okay. Wait. It's on the sticker. Oh. Oh, like, why <laughs> is this backwards? <laughs> I'm like reading it. I'm like, that, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I don't want to enter the giveaway. I don't want to enter a sweepstakes. You have to, Megan. You have to. Complete the registration page. Oh no. Spin to win. Oh, I'm spinning. You want my birthday? This is definitely like a harvesting thing, isn't it? Like, oh I don't want to be like one of those crazy government junkies, but like, why do they want my phone number? Why do they want my address? Does I consent to having this website store my information to share with promotional sponsor. <laughs> All right, spin to win. Oh. Here we go. I hope it focuses. I hope we can see what I got. What is that? You also oh, want a video good. from Mr. Beast. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> the same one. So it's just a cute, it's an advertisement for the chocolate bars. All right, official taste test. Did you tell me you got a mystery golden ticket? No, no mystery golden ticket. Oh man. Hmm, devour. That's pretty good. I'm a fan. That was good. Yeah, that's good. I don't need the video, I just need the chocolate. Good job, bar. Mr. Beast. It is dark chocolate, so if you're younger, you might not like it as much, but it's, it's healthier. a very mature flavor. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> 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 you're eating so audibly. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> All right, spin to win. What are we gonna get this time? Big money, big money. Big money, please. Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We can't all be winners. Just the ones in these boxes, and then we'll take the ones to the office. Oh my, what if somebody wins, though, a golden ticket out of those boxes at the office? I'll pay them for it. I would be so mad. I'm not bitter. I am bitter. Em and I, we made it to work. Look what we got. They're Tamagotchis, they're little pets. Very and then you 90s. take care of them and you make sure that they don't die. Super cute, I'm gonna get mine open. I just got a very important meeting when I'm here. There's still pizza left, so it's a win win. What was the meeting with? It was with all the executives in the company, so utmost important. It's called the executive <laughs> meeting, happens once a week. Can't be there, you're not an executive. Sorry, invite only. I'm actually not a part of the company anymore either. You're a founder, got, you're a founder. I'm a founder, but I did get fired, so. Sorry, <laughs> tough decisions had to be made. Here she is, what do we name her? She's so cute. So I don't know if anybody can hear me right now, it's very loud in here. Um, as we know, I was gonna bring bars for everybody, but I only brought 18 bars because I'm stupid. We have like 62 people. <laughs> There's like 62 people in here, so I actually don't think I'm gonna pass them out because I didn't bring enough for everyone. Major flaw. Josh, what did you win from your Mr. Beast Beastable bar? He got the video. He got the video. <laughs> He's a big Mr. Beast stan, so that worked really well for him. We're about to do the Metamall meeting. Mm -hmm. When does Metamall come out? The 2nd of March. The 2nd of March. Get ready. The newest shopping experience in Roblox. I finished all my work and now it's time to open up more Mr. Beast Feastable chocolate bars. Let's go. This one's already broken. Also, I want to know if I have 18 chocolate bars here, how fast am I expected to eat all 18 chocolate bars? Like, are they already moving on at that point? Or are they already like saying like, hey, we found the 10 people. Are the 10 people his friends? I don't know. This candy bar is suspicious. No, I like how I smelled it. Smells like money? No. That's okay. At least now I have one that I can snack on while I open things. 
So no luck with the Mr. Beast candy bars just yet. I calculated and I have a total of 225 candy bars. That's a lot. I'm gonna open up the rest of Zach tomorrow. And also I'm excited because tomorrow we're gonna go to the ear doctor and get our ears professionally cleaned out. Nervous, but excited. Let me know, have you ever had your ears like professionally cleaned out? What is that like? I guess I'm gonna find out tomorrow before you can answer so we can talk about it in the comments together. New day, new vlog, new outfit, outfit of the day. Super stoked about it. I think I look really cute today. It's exciting. Today is exciting because Zach and I are going to go get. Do you want to tell them? We're getting our ears cleaned by an ear doctor. We are going to a professional ear doctor to get our ears cleaned. We've never done this before. Impacted wax. We're gonna see. This is so exciting. I've never gotten my ears professionally cleaned, so we're just gonna see what that's about. And then whenever we get home, we'll check the rest of Mr. Beach bar. This is like intermission. I just ate a little bit of one. Well, we're off. Goodbye. So we're starting today off really strong. I don't know if you could tell, but my eyelash is literally falling off. I like just put them on, got in the car. I think I waited too long to put this one on. The glue dried and now it's like literally falling off. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to live my whole day like this. So embarrassing, that. Can't you like just put it back on? No, cause it's not sticky. Let's see what's inside of your ear, babe. Yeah, yeah. There you go, babe, you're clean. I can't believe I had more earwax than you. I know, I don't have any earwax. Oh. That's just a little baby. Yes. What does that feel like? It feels like nothing. nothing. It feels like literally nothing. Ugh, looks gross. <laughs> Sorry that you didn't have any earwax that needed to come out. Don't be jealous. Yeah, like you could, I had more ear hair than you, I think. Mine's like a piece of skin. <laughs> yeah, it really is. There we have it. Perfect ears for the two of us. Perfect eyes, perfect ears. That's just my life, I guess. I don't have perfect eyes. I had one perfect ear, but then we got that little piece of earwax out. I don't know what you guys saw. Sometimes I'm able to get my finger deep into my ear, like deeper than you should. Like Look how expands. big your finger is, Zach. You exactly. cannot possibly get I it did. that deep into your I, ear. I, I, like, sometimes I'm able to kind of like manipulate <laughs> You're not. it. Like sometimes I'm even able to get my thumb like in. And one time I pulled out a massive chunk. I was like, holy, like, holy crap, that was in my ear. Thought it was like the butt of a cockroach. Very cute. Okay, we're on our way to Restoration Hardware. Zach really wants to look at the cloud couch and that is gonna make me feel like a real YouTuber. We've heard that maybe or maybe not they're actually uncomfortable. Yeah, like it, it depends I guess, so we'll have to see what variation's the best. Cause I heard mm -hmm. that they could get too deep but then not be deep enough and then you can't put your feet up because there's no recline like function. No, so we're gonna go, I, I told Zach I wanted to sit in one before I committed to buying one online because we aren't gonna have a media room anymore so we just wanna make sure wherever we're hanging out is like super comfortable. We also have Tyson, Kate, and Josh crammed in the back seat. Literally, so sorry. Are you excited for the cloud couch? I'm excited. There's also Herman Miller here. They've self There's a Herman Miller, there's a real real, oh, there's a crate and barrel. Gonna, okay. Taking your phone. Oh gosh, no. Yeah, we need like a giant section. So fancy in here. Look at they have nice chairs. Do here. you think if we just like got in a closet we could live here? We had a closet in here? No, we could get in a closet and just live oh, here. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> They're the exact same. It's their biggest hit. Is it comfy? I mean I like it. I like so the sales guy was being really mean. Aside from telling us we can't film, which we get, Zach tried to crack a joke with him and he was really rude. And he I said, you wouldn't want to leak the trade secrets. And he's like, you're a dummy. He didn't say that, but he, didn't say anything. he really didn't want to sell us a couch. So we're going to have to find somebody else to buy him from. He reminded me of the guards outside like the palace where they're not allowed to say anything. They just have to stand there. Okay, we did end up buying a cloud couch. Um, and now we're heading to Herman Miller to check out an Ames chair, which I've always wanted one of these. I think the Ames couple is a very talented architect texture team. I'm very excited to hopefully own one of the chairs. This is the chair in case they don't let me film inside. This is it. Okay guys, we got the chair. Thank you guys. Bye. This is my biggest dream guys. That chair, I have admired that chair for close to, what year is it, 2022? For close to 10 years. That is my dream chair. I'm so pumped. I am like literally so excited over a chair. Now I'm gonna talk to my best friend at Restoration Hardware. Mm. <laughs> oh no, my camera's dying. Oh no, no, I have to get my nose pierced still. Okay, bye. We made it to public school and I'm not gonna vlog much because my camera is dying and I need to no, capture yeah. my yeah. nose. But I wanted to show you guys, look at the cute little hard ice cubes. Oh, I just spilled my drink. Oh my gosh, hurry up, the camera's dying. It's focused. Okay, okay. <laughs> you, you do so great, babe. You're doing such a good job. Anyway, that's really it. That's the whole clip. That's it. We made it to Paneco Studio. This is where I get all my tattoos and piercings and it's time. I'm so nervous. Are I once so bought a candle here. No, you, hair gel. Are you still gonna love me? Yes. Okay, good. Let's go. You like it? Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm we're still in recovery. Oh wait, I should do a reveal. Okay guys, it's done. Are we ready? Yeah. Ooh. 
am so obsessed. It is so cute. And Josh, right there, he said it looked like it already was on my face. So it fits perfectly. Yay! As promised, the final Mr. Beast boxes. We only have two left. They're off screen. I think I maybe I need to like adjust a little Whoa. bit. But I, I don't want us to get cut off. All We're more important than the box. I know, but I'm trying to like. Oh. Crooked. <sighs> That's crooked. So this was $500 spent on Mr. Beast bars. Yeah. So you take three to crack them all. Zach is efficient. So people eat all these. They'll be like, why are they all broken in the middle? <laughs> We're looking for a golden ticket. Duh. Well, here's the last one, guys. Let's see if it's in here. Unfortunately, it looks like we lost today, but at least at the end of it all, we have each other. Hello there. And I guess my final update for the night is going to be about my Tamagotchi. Or should you update them about how famous I am on your TikTok? So I'm, what if I'm famous right now? You're not. Hey, hold on. The TikTok has 20,000 views. No way. Zach and I made some TikToks. No way, that they works. don't have amazing views, so please go watch my TikTok. Where? It's right here, babe. 21,000 But see, views. the last one I was on. Got a million. It's right there. Where is it? Right one there. million views. <laughs> a sensation. So as we can see, I think he's either dead or he's two years old. How do you know if he's dead? I can't tell. He's like in space. So he's uh, maybe, oh no, because they said they turn into an alien. If you like don't take care of him enough, they turn into a mad alien. And then they die. So my Tamagotchi died. Great. No, he's an alien. He's dead. The title of this vlog, I can't believe they're dead. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.